If you have your house listed for sale, the last thing that I want to have happen to you is have a buyer drive up to the property, take one look at your house and turn around and drive away. It could happen for a number of reasons. It could be that the buyer didn't like the location. Maybe it's just a longer commute than they thought it would be. But most of the time, a reason a buyer does this is because there is something about the curb appeal of the house. If you have a house that you're getting ready to sell, your goal is to attract as many buyers as possible. The more buyers, that are interested in your home, the better off you'll be. But I want to let you in on a little secret too. It actually goes deeper than just attraction and appeal and first impression. Here's what happens when a buyer drives up to a property that they think needs a lot of work. When they are walking up to the property and they see a lot of overgrown landscaping, or maybe there is a light on the exterior of the house that is sitting a little kitty wumpus, or the gutters are a little janky. Maybe there's weeds or moss on the roof. If a buyer is having to ninja their way through cobwebs as if there's Halloween decorations on the house, what is happening in that buyer's mind is they are making a list of all of the things that they need to do to repair the house. Instead of walking into a home and looking for reasons to fall in love with the house, they're actually continuing that list inside looking for things that need to be repaired. When a buyer walks into your home, I want them looking for reasons to fall in love with your house. So let's start with ways that you can boost your curb appeal. Some of these items are going to be very budget friendly. You can do them yourself over a weekend. Some will require a little bit of an investment. And so it's all about what you want to invest in your property, what you can invest into your property. But I also want you to keep in mind your return on investment. Unfortunately, landscaping is not something that you get a dollar for dollar return. It's actually more like pennies on the dollar. But what it does do is it does attract buyers. It makes your home present well in photographs and in video, which attracts buyers to your house. If you know you're not going to be selling your home for maybe seven years down the road and you want to enjoy the landscape while you're there, then feel free to put in whatever it is that you will enjoy while you're there. But if you're trying to spruce things up to sell it right away, then let's go over what it is that you can do. When you go outside and walk the perimeter of your home, I want you to put on your buyer's eyes. Look at your house as if you've never seen it before and really get a good idea of how it would make a buyer feel if they drove up and were walking to the front door of your property. Nearly every home will benefit from a good deep cleaning on the exterior. And you can do this through power washing or pressure washing, not only the exterior of the home, having the gutters cleaned, cleaning the windows, but also pressure washing off any walkways or dry ways that lead up to the house. It's amazing what a good pressure washing can do to make a house just look refreshed and clean. When you're cleaning the windows, you want to remove the screens and see if any of them are damaged. If they're bent or have tears in them or they're worn from the sun, you may want to consider going ahead and replacing those screens to give them a fresh clean look as well. You may want to clear the roof and the gutters of any fallen leaves and debris as well because a buyer is going to do a home inspection on the property and that is always an item that gets called out on the home inspection. That takes me to the next item on our list, which is any overgrown landscaping. If there are any tree branches that are hanging over the roof or touching the roof, you're going to want to have those trimmed back. Really, if there's any vegetation that is touching the house in general, we like to have that trimmed back away from the house because it helps prevent any water intrusion, but it also helps prevent any pest intrusion. Consider the season that you're planning to put your house on the market. If we are currently in the winter, but you know that you're going to put your house on the market in the spring, you're going to want to trim back any bushes or trees so that they bloom and grow and are beautiful when your house is on the market in the springtime. Or if we're in the heat of the summer and you're considering selling in the midwinter, you'll want to plant things that are evergreen and will still look good during those cold winter months. If you want to go crazy with the landscaping because you want to enjoy the home while you're still living in the house, then go crazy with the landscaping. But if you're looking to invest a little bit of money to boost the curb appeal to attract buyers, then just do a little budget friendly things. Before you head down the path of investing a lot of money to boost curb appeal, please reach out to an agent that is local in your area that can offer a little bit of guidance in this area and tell you what you can do over here and what you could do over there to maximize your investment. The next 
next thing I want you to consider is a fresh coat of paint. It is amazing what paint can do to a home. If the exterior of the home looks to be in pretty good condition, but maybe the front door or the garage door it looks a little sun dried, you may want to consider just putting a fresh coat of paint on that and or the trim of the house. And if the front of the house just has kind of a dull monochromatic theme going on, you may want to add a pop of color on that front door or around the trim of the house or by adding planters and plants that bring in some vibrant fresh colors. Next, I want you to take a look at the lighting fixtures on the house. If you have any outdated light fixtures, you may want to consider replacing them. Lowe's and Home Depot have some really great, inexpensive, but attractive uh, exterior light options that you can consider. If your light fixtures are updated, just make sure that they are in good working condition, that there are working bulbs inside of them and they are hung straight. Depending on what time of year you're selling, sometimes buyers make evening appointments to view a property. And so having a well-lit exterior with well-lit walkways just gives your home that little extra boost of curb appeal. The next thing that you could do that is pretty budget friendly is replace any old house numbers. And again, Home Depot and Lowe's has some great inexpensive options, but so does Amazon. If your house is for sale, you want buyers and their agents to easily find your address. And sometimes all that takes is new house numbers. The next item on the list is your mailbox. What condition is the mailbox in? Is it in perfect condition? Does it just need a little bit of paint or does it need to be replaced entirely? And finally, the last item on the list that will help you boost your curb repeal will probably be the last thing that a buyer will see to touch and feel before walking into your home, and that is the doorbell. If you don't have a video doorbell, it is the funniest thing. I will tell you probably about seven out of 10 buyers will press the doorbell before walking into a home. If a doorbell is dirty or the button is sticky or it doesn't chime at all, a buyer is wondering if there are other electrical issues with the house. And what do we really want the buyer to be doing when they enter your home? We don't want them to be making a mental list of repairs we want the buyer to look for reasons to fall in love with your home.